Hey guys, welcome to SFDC Quest. As a part of today's video, we'll look at what exactly constants are. Then we'll look at why we need the constants. And we'll also look at how to use the constants as a part of this video. So let's get started. Now, what exactly constants are? Apex constants are variables whose values does not change after being initialized once. So they are just normal variables. Just like how we have discussed apex variables in our previous videos, they are just like variables. The importance of this constants are once you assign a value in it, let's say if I put number 100 in it. So once I initialize this constant variable, I do not have an option to change it. So the other way of looking at this constant is once I assign a value, this variable would not change its value or this variable would hold on to that value. Now, you might be wondering, yes, I have understood what exactly constants are. They would basically hold that value or they would not allow us to change the value. Hence the name constant. Now, why we need to use them in our code? Be it your apex classes or triggers, you might come across using this constant or you might have seen code where they are using constants. We'll quickly understand why do we need or why do we use this constants in our code? So we are going into the second phase of the discussion, which is why we need constants. For that, I'll quickly jump onto my Salesforce org. So now I'm on my Salesforce org. So this is a previous code that we have used for Apex triggers. Here is the code for the scene. If you see this code, I'm just scrolling down to the section that I'm interested in. So that way we can quickly understand the importance of this constant concept. So if you see this piece of code, which is a method in which I'm using some values. There is an electrical, there is a high value that I've used twice. Now you might be looking at this code. And if I also highlight the other section that I have here, which also has, which also has a high as a value here and electrical as a value here. Now you might be wondering, everything looks good to me. What exactly we can learn from this? piece that you have highlighted. If you look at this code closely, there is no errors or anything that is there, but there is one best practice that we can follow. What is that best practice? The best practice is whenever you write your code, always make sure that you're not hard coding any values, but what happens here? So let's say after, let's say a couple of months into the project, there is a requirement for changing this value from high to urgent. So the requirement is to remove the high value from the entire or and change it to urgent. So that way the people would understand that it is a urgent priority that someone needs to take care of. Now what happens? You will go to your pick list value. Since priority is a pick list value, you would go there, add a new pick list value and remove the high value there. But what happens to your code? Will you manually go ahead and edit each and every line in your code? You can do that approach of going to each and every line, looking at wherever the high value is and you can change it. The second approach is to have a variable. So let's say I'll, I'll call it as a type priority high value. I'm creating a variable which would hold the value that I'm using in my code. So I'll set it to high. So wherever this value high is needed in the code, I'll go ahead and replace with this variable CTPH. Now, what is the advantage of doing this approach? Whenever there is a change in the requirement saying that high needs to be replaced with urgent, I can quickly make a change to this variable saying that instead of high, I'll remove this high and put the value that I need, which is urgent. So wherever this variable has been used, all the changes were done at a time. I don't have to go search manually and change that value everywhere within the code. I can create a variable and change that value once and it would be effective wherever the code has been used. So that is the advantage of using your variables. Now, does this urgent value change every now and then? The answer is no. This urgent variable, according to the requirement, would be remaining as it is until unless there is a new change of that pick list value. 
So that means this adjacent value is constant. It would not change according to the code that we have written. So there is a constant value that I'm referring to. Instead of writing a variable, which we are telling the system that at any point of time during the transaction, this value would change. Instead of telling the system that it would change, rather what we can say, this value that I'm declaring is a value that would not change. But people can make use of this value within the code. They are not allowed to make changes to it. Or else what would happen? Someone can take the CHT variable and assign a value to it within the code. Now what happens whenever there is a change in the value, all the logic that you have written might not work as expected. So that is where we need to restrict that. How do we restrict that? By converting that variable to a constant value. What we have discussed in the constant value definition, we have discussed that apex constants are variables that do not allow users to change the value once it is initialized. Once you have initialized, there is a restriction that is set by Salesforce saying that no one would be able to change this value once it is initialized. So once somebody assigns a value to this variable, that is the final value that we can use. That is the advantage of your constant variables. Instead of hard coding your values, instead of writing your values like this, what you can do, you can create a constant variable. Wherever that values are being used, you can use that constant variable instead of hard coding these values. Now, how do we write a constant variable? For that, let's scroll to the top. Why do we put constants at the top? Is because it would be easier for us to look at what are the constant variables that are being used in the code. And two, if anybody is starting to write the code, they can look at one place and decide if there is any constant variables that are already exist. If yes, they would use them or they can create a new constant variables. So let's go to the top and see how do we create a constant variable. So I'm at the top of my Apex class. So I'll say constant variables. So here is the place where I'll write my constant variable. Now let's say in our discussion, we need to hold the high as a value, which is of type string. So what we have discussed, constants are nothing but Apex variables. How do we declare an Apex variable by writing the data type followed by the name of that variable? So what is the name of the variable I'll write? So this is the value that I wanted to make it as a constant variable. So I've named it accordingly. I've given the variable name as case priority high. And I'll put an equal to sign so that way I can assign the value, which is, right? so this is the value that I wanted to assign. All right, so this is normal Apex declaration. So there are no errors now. So if you see, this is a proper declaration. But what I wanted to do, I do not want the users to change this value to something else within the code. So within the code, let's say, I do not want anyone to set this value to something else. If so, if that happens, entire code execution might go in a different direction. So this is not something that we want. We do not want anybody to change this code. So for that reason, what we will do, we'll make it as a constant variable. So how do we convert a normal variable into a constant variable? By putting it as final, static final. So once I do this, what would happen? This variable now became a constant. So whatever that Apex variable that we have looked at, now it became constant. So anybody, if they try to change value to this one, system would throw an error to it. So once we have this constant variable, what I can do, wherever the place where the high variable is, high value is being used with a constant string. Since it's a constant, either I can add constant at the end to indicate that it's a constant variable or somehow mention it in the variable name so that way it would be easier for others to understand it's a constant variable. So I've made that change. What I can do, I can go ahead and check where all places the high variable has been used, high value has been used. So this is the first place. If I go next, here is the place where it has been used. What I can do, I can simply remove it and paste the constant variable, right? So that is how I can make quickly make the changes and tell the system, instead of using this hard-coded value, you can make use of this constant. So that way, whenever there is a business requirement change of moving from high to urgent, 
instead of changing it everywhere what i can do i can simply go to the constant variable and change it to urgent so i do not have to look at the entire code and make changes every now and then i do not have to go to the entire code and look for where is this high value being used i can change it at one place and this change would be effective wherever this constant variable is used that is the advantage of your constant using constant variables in your apex code i'll revert it to high so that way we can go ahead and make make changes to the other places where it is been used an extension of what is already been there you can make the changes accordingly so if you see here there is a high value is been used what i can do i can ask the system to use this constant variable and append this hyphen to this subject that i am using so in case if you do not know what exactly this code is doing and everything feel free to check out our apex triggers apex triggers udemy course i'll leave the link in the description so we are changing the we are making use of the same code that we have used in that apex triggers for this concept our changes are done in case if you want to do it for electrical you can do the same approach go to the top create another another constant resource i am creating the data type as string in case if you want a number or anything you can create it as an integer here again it's a constant so i'll name it as constant at the end now once that is done you can save it wherever this electrical value is been used you can quickly make those changes so we can quickly check where is this been used so wherever there is a text value where electrical is been referred i can quickly grab the constant value that we have created and make a change accordingly and here is also another place where it is been so that is how you can make use of your constant variables within your apex class so what is the advantage of this approach this approach gives us a advantage of whenever there is a change in the value we do not have to search for the entire code where this electrical is been used and we do not have to make it make that change manually instead of using this value i have used a variable constant variable so i can make a change here whatever the change that i do here and it would be effective in the rest all code so you might be wondering you have told that constant variables are the variables that would not allow us to change the value once they are initiated that is true when the transaction starts once the code executes within the code i cannot make a change to it so how can i prove that there would not be any changes that i can do to a constant variable let's quickly take a simple example here and do a test accordingly so i'm taking the same variable in the anonymous window i'll make a change to it and say set it to low and what i'll do i'll do a debug log to show you the difference so this is the after change and similarly i'll print a debug statement before this one i'll say before right so we have two debug logs and one constant variable i'm making change to this constant variable and also printing the debug logs before and after that change so if i quick, quickly select this piece and click on execute highlighted so as soon as i click on execute highlighted it throws me an error saying that a finer variable has already been initialized so it is saying that you cannot make a change to this variable once it is initialized so once the transaction runs no one is authorized to make a change to this variable if you see that line it basically shows that error occurred on line number 54 so let me run it again so if you see line number 54 column number 1 system dot final exception final variable has already been initialized so once the transaction runs no one is allowed to make a change to this variable i can go ahead and make changes to this value within the code when it is not running so once it runs no one has the authority to change it right so keep that point in mind so if i comment out line number 54 and if i execute it system would not throw any error but it would show me two debug logs two debug statements with the same value so if you see here before also it is high after also it is high that means once the variables are declared as constant no one has the authority to change that value during the run time 
right? So that is what this constant variables are. And it gives us that security that once you assign a value to it, no one can change that value once the code starts executing. To summarize things, whenever there is some text values that you are using in the code, which could be your a constant checks that you would be applying in your if logics. So in this example, I was using this priority field high in a couple of places in the code. And then writing high every time, what I can do, I can create a constant variable, assign that high value to this constant variable. Wherever this high value has been used, I can replace that constant variable at that place. That is the end of this video. Hope you have liked it. In case if you have any specific questions or in case if you want us to prioritize any topics, do let us know in the comment section with the hashtag AskSFTCQuest. If you have liked this video, do like, share and subscribe to SFTCQuest. Hey guys, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to SFTCQuest.